simple receptacle, Allen. There's tricks to these things that you may or may not know. So stick around. All right, here's a simple residential outlet. Simple. All right, I'm going to show you what you really need to know about these outlets. Now, if you've got one bad in your wall and it needs to be changed, the first thing you mean to remember, always make sure you take the power off of it. Disconnect the power at the power source, which is usually your breaker box. Make sure it's the right breaker too. If you're not sure, plug a lamp into it or a vacuum cleaner, and if you've got a tester, that would be great. But make sure there's no power on this before you try to change one out. And when you change it, you just change the wires off the old one the same way putting it back on the new one. But a lot of things people don't understand about these oil outlets. So I'm going to show you a few things. A lot of people take these receptacles and outlets for granted. You know, they just use them every day, don't think nothing about it. But from time to time, they do go bad and you have to change them. Now here is what they really look like and what every hole and every screw stands for and what it is. Now there's a few tricks to these things that people don't know about. Here's the back of it. About these push-in holes, about these secret little gadgets they got on it and I've been an electrician half my life and didn't even know one of them. First thing about these old outlets is you need to know what these plugs is, okay? You, you notice how you've got one side smaller than the other side, and then you've got this oval one down here. All right, this, the smaller one, is your hot side. That's the power side. That's where the 120 volts comes out. This one right here, the long one is your neutral that you return back to your circuit. This right here is the ground slot, your ground plug on your cord. Okay, now some, some plugs don't have the ground because they're internally tied in together, so it's just two wires. But they have a big and a small slot on them when they're made. The way you cannot turn it backwards. They can only plug up one way. All right, now, on this little one on the, it always corresponds with the gold or brass colored screws. That's always the hot. And it's just on the side of your outlet. All right, and on the, the big slot, which is the neutral, it always corresponds with the silver, the brighter color of silver. That's your return or your neutral back to your box. And you notice that there's two of them on here, okay? And what that what that is, is if you was to say, say you've got an outlet in the wall, but you want one outlet running off a switch, one side of the outlet running off of a switch in the wall where you cut it off and on like a lamp or something. But you want the bottom outlet to just be a regular outlet that have power on it all the time, for like a vacuum cleaner or some extension cord just for power. So you could separate the two. And by doing that, you would separate them. All outlets have a little connecting tip here in between them. See this little tip right here? That little tip, you just grab a hold of the power needle nose and you bend it back and forth and back and forth till it breaks. Well then when you do that, it separates these two outlets. Same way on the other side, do it on the other side. So these would be two independent power sources. But just to, if just for a normal outlet, they're connected all the time, so both is hot all the time. But that's if you wanted to make a switch on one and a switch not on the other, or a switch on each one, you could separate the two, okay? But you're gonna just change a regular outlet. All right, on the back of these, You'll see right here, they got holes in them. All right, these holes are for a quick fix 
of pushing a wire in to hook it up. Now, when you change an outlet, the one you're changing may be pushed in that way. So if you've got to change an opportunity, put the wires on the terminal screw because these here in time will get loose. If you push them in there good and tight, they may be all right for the time being. But as time goes on, and you use a load and it gets kind of warm and it gets cold and they, over time, this metal in here wires out and it, and it gets loose. And a loose connection electrically causes heat. And heat causes stuff to burn up or worse, causes a fire in your home. So that's the loose thing you want. So I would use these if at all possible, these terminals. I'll show you here in just a second how we hook them up. Now this here's the ground. That's the ground wire. That's where your ground always goes. And you can see it all goes, ties in together with the frame of this thing. These here, that's your hot. That's your neutral. This is all ground. It would ground, see if you put it in a metal box or something, it would ground this whole box with this being screwed to that box, that ground wood. And this plastic that you use in these things, it would just still just ground the outlet. Now, you've got, a, you, you put a new outlet in. You've cut a hole in your wall and you've set this box in there. All right? Or you're just changing out an old one. So, your 12 2 wire or 14 2 with ground or 12 2 with ground. This is 12 2 with ground. So, the easiest way to do this is just an old regular razor blade and you lay that thing flat. And you just get right in the middle of it and just pull it right down. It's so easy as can be. You come down here, you skin it back how much you want. Usually the ground wire is wrapped in paper. I cut it off. And there's your wire. These will come into the box come into the box, whatever you're using, but you're changing an old outlet out. All right, now your outlet here. We want to hook these wires up on these terminals. So what I do, and another thing, before I forget it, I, I've been an electrician half my life, and I never know these was like this. You see these little slots right here? These little slots are wire strippers. That's hard to believe, but they are. If you'll read down on them on one end or the other, it'll say wire strippers. One's for a 14 gauge, and one is for a 12 gauge. So I'll show you. So you don't have no, I usually use just regular wire strippers, okay? But <clears throat> you don't have no wire strippers. You got no outlet handy, and you need to strip a wire. So to strip these and you want to put them on the plug, you need to go about a half inch back. We'll slide this in the 12 the 12 uh, gauge set right there. See that went right in there and just twist it around just like you would a wire stripper. And uh, come right off. See there? We can do the same thing on the other one. Slide it right in there. Give it a good twist or two. I mean, it ain't as good as wire stripper, but it would get you by if you needed it. And I didn't even really pay no attention to that. I was too busy. I put hundreds and hundreds of these in over the years and never paid no attention to that. Most of the time, these little tips here, I would get in a box or something where, see this little, got a little notch right there? I would just bend them back and forth and break them off because I didn't need them in certain applications. But anyway, we'll go back to this. Black is always your hot water. Always your power. White is always your neutral. You return your neutral wire. Bare is always ground. Sometimes they have a green installation on them or greenish color film on it. That's always ground. Green is always ground and bare wire is always ground. Remember that. So we're going to hook this up. Easy trick to this, hooking these things up. If, you, if you're hooking up a new one, you take the wire right there. Put your hook in it. 
Put your hook in it like that. Hook right in there. See, I hooked right around that wire, that, that screw. And bend it always to your right, to its right. That way it be, when you put the, when you put it under the screw, the screw will tighten down, not push it out. You go to the left, they usually push it out. Get in there and just torque it real good. There's a good solid connection. Okay? And the and your screw that you're not using, just run it in. Just run it in, snug it a little bit. Where it can't get into a box or another wire. And we come over here to the neutral. We do the same thing with it. Kind of give it a little like a fish hook. Come over here and slide it down on that one, on your neutral, the silver. Silver's always neutral. White is always neutral. And there you go. And on your ground, come over here to your ground. Just put your little fish hook in it. There you go. And that would go into your box. Your box would be like this, and you're going into your box, and you got your bar sticking out. What you want to do, you want to take this down, fold it back like an accordion. So when it goes back in your box, it's back in your box. And then when you want to pull it out, you got slack to pull it out. That's always a good rule of thumb right there. Okay? So there you go. Now these... Like I said, people use these a lot, but they will get loose on you, these little holes. But if you did use them or you've got an existing outlet that's using these now and you want to change it, you can either just cut it off and skin your wires more if you got enough slack. If you haven't, you can take a little bit of screwdriver and push in that slot. And that would relieve tension on that metal that goes against your wire. And if you put tension on it, that, that wire will fl slide right out. That's for each one of them. And they correspond right with the screws, the hot side, the neutral side. And something else I wanted to show you about these things that they've been arguing with on the cold. Some say they should be the ground up. And I agree. More safely, I'll show you the reasons here that this is a better way to do it. But most of your homes all through the years is like this, the ground down. And the reason being on these plugs, most of them like this. Okay. And the reason like, what, what makes this more safer for the ground to be on top is like this. See, if your ground was like this, now, if it's like the standard way, like, like, like it is in most homes, if that plugs out just a little bit and something fell into it, what's it going to do? What's it going to do right there? You see this? It's going to fall between the short or between the hot and the neutral. That's a dead short. That would knock your breaker or blow a fuse, how old your house is. But these right here, that's what would happen. And you could create an arc here, which could create a fire. But now, if it's upside down, the ground's on top, it's safer because you see what I'm talking about. When something falls, it's going to hit the ground more, the ground plug. And that ground plug would protect you from going down here and shorting out to get you by. Now, most places commercialized, commercial, residential, industrial, is doing it that way. Even hospitals has been doing that a long time. But around the standard home, it's still the regular old way of like this. So, 
they've been they haven't really changed the code everywhere but they're working on it so look for that to be a change but i'd say all the old houses will be grandfathered in so that's something that will come about and another thing about these old outlets in time you use them so much that metal in there gets thin and they get loose and you know your plug won't stay tight and if, like i said the worst thing in electrical connection is loose and if you've got a loose electrical connection it generates heat and generate heat causes fire it will burn i've seen them just burn the cord up here where people that pay no kicks to it it's been a loose connection here and it gets hot but to get you by you change these when you can they need change and change them but to get you by on no cord i take this right here and I'd bend them out a little bit. So when you do that, that makes them tighter inside there on your metals. That would get you by till you got an outlet put in. But there you go. Now you, these are designed, you see how, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you see this, see how this one is taller than this one? You see what I'm saying? Well, this, this plug not, because it don't really matter. It can't go backwards because of the ground. But you'll notice some of you plugs, that one side will be taller than the other. And that's because of this right here, making sure you don't hook it up backwards, especially if they don't have a ground plug. But this one has a ground plug, so it can't be hooked up backwards. There's no way. So that's just some basics on these outlets. But the main thing is, make sure you play with this, there's no power on your circuit. And change it out, just like it, the wires just like it come off, and you're good to go. So. I hope these chips helped you. They're just simple tricks on a simple alley. But these things can be dangerous. So, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.